Using alkaline mineral water with a higher pH improves the taste of beverages and food. Cooking with alkaline water can make a big difference in the taste and quality of your meals. Or you can use the acidic water to clean vegetables, meats, and surfaces, or even cleanse your face and hands. There are literally dozens of other uses. But for today, we're going to show you a few examples of how alkaline and acidic ionized water can be used in the kitchen. Hi, my name is Ty Cabados, and I'll be going over the benefits of cooking and using the microclustered water in your kitchen today. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is going to go ahead and uh, put tomatoes in each of these glasses. We're going to use ionized microclustered water on one then regular tap water with one. What this is hoping to show is the uh, ability for the water to go ahead and pull contaminants and dirt out of the uh, tomatoes without washing them. There we go. Just to the side. All right. This one will be using the alkaline water. This one we'll be using the tap water. And we'll let these sit for a second. Let the water work on them. And uh, now we'll be looking at, uh, as far as tea, um, how tea reacts to using alkaline water and using the tap water. This is the alkaline water over here. This should go ahead and steep a lot faster than the uh, tap water because of the microclustering in the water. So there. Already starting to go a little bit. Some tap water right here. Okay, you can already start to see some color forming in this, this one right here. Put these to a side for a second. Now we're going to be showing the uh, microclustering in the water by the emulsification of the uh, oil. Go. The alkaline water and the tap water. Notice here how the oil is forming big coagulated bubbles that aren't mixing well with the tap water. Put it in the alkaline water. Basically emulsifies, mixes. So you can see the difference right away. It's very apparent which one is which. This pretty much already stirred up. Not big cluster sizes. Tap water right here. You can stir this all day. It will not emulsify the oil. So huge difference there. Put these right here. Like a... Microclustered water is great for making gravy, dressings, or soups because it emulsifies the oil, breaking down the fats, which help bring out the flavor. Moving on to the tea, you can see that our ionized water and our tap water, you can clearly see the uh, difference in how long this takes, how the tea is pretty much brewed with alkaline water already. Now as far as our uh, tomatoes over here, starting to form, you can actually see it, you can't really see it until we get the uh, white background. Once again, this is the alkaline water, this is the tap water. You can see how, uh, how dark the water is becoming over here rather than the tap water over here. What it's basically doing is pulling all of the uh, contaminants, dirt, pesticides out of the uh, tomatoes over here and why the tap water is really doing nothing for that. So you can see how just soaking that in there is going to you know, free it up from a lot more contaminants than even scrubbing this with regular tap water. And this is uh, after well, about a minute, so it should get a lot darker there. So I hope this helped you out uh, realizing the benefit of using the microcluster to alkaline water with your cooking and uh, kitchen needs. 
My name is Ty Cabados, Life Ionizers. Thank you very much. The use of alkaline water is not new. Japan and Korea have been using it for close to half a century. There are numerous health benefits to drinking alkaline water, but what many people may not realize is how many other uses ionized water, or EO water, can provide. EO water, or electrolyzed oxidized water, is ionized water with a high oxygen reduction potential, ORP, which is an excellent antioxidant. Antioxidants neutralize free radicals that cause DNA and cellular damage, which cause aging. Essential EO water is water that has been separated by electricity into two ionic streams, one negative and one positive. On one side, you have alkaline mineral water, and on the other side, acidic mineral water. This process is called electrolysis. The Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition at Washington State University proved that rinsing in acidic, electrolyzed water reveals an effective method to control the presence of E. coli, salmonella, and L. monocytogens on the surfaces of fresh green onions and tomatoes without affecting their organoleptic characteristics. This indicates acidic water's potential application for the decontamination of fresh produce surfaces. The Department of Food Science and Human Nutrition at Washington State University also performed another experiment using electrolyzed water. The results suggest that acidic electrolyzed water treatment was able to significantly reduce the populations of three tested pathogens in killing E. coli, salmonella, and listeria monocytogens from the surface of lettuce and spinach with increasing time of exposure. The Laboratory of Food Microbiology and Food Preservation at Ghent University performed a study about food preservation. Minimally processed vegetables have a short shelf life. Neutral electrolyzed oxidizing water is a novel decontamination method. The objective of this study was to test the potential of ionized water to extend the shelf life of minimally processed vegetables, namely shredded cabbage. According to these results, a shelf life extension of at least five days can be achieved by treating shredded cabbage with neutral electrolyzed oxidizing water. Ionized water seems to be a promising method to prolong the shelf life of minimally processed vegetables. The Department of Animal Science at the University of Connecticut performed a study revealing that the immersion of kitchen cutting boards and electrolyzed oxidizing water could be used as an effective method for inactivating foodborne pathogens such as E. coli and salmonella on smooth plastic cutting boards. Boiling eggs in acidic water brings out the color of the egg yolks, making them bright shiny yellow instead of the normal gray color. Boiling in ionized water also makes the eggshells peel off easier in larger pieces and they taste better. Another test we've done ourselves is to show how effective alkaline water affects the growth of sprouts. As you can see here, the garbanzo beans soaked in alkaline water have grown significantly faster than sprouts grown in normal tap water. Seeds sprout or germinate better at different levels of alkalinity depending on the seed. We've just observed how alkaline and acidic mineral water can be used in various ways around the household and in your lifestyle. The benefits of alkaline and acidic water are far-reaching, whether you're interested in food preparation, weight loss, anti-aging, detoxification, sports hydration, or general peak health, ionized alkaline and acidic water is here to make a difference in your life. Today, more than ever, the pH balance of our body has become extremely important. Acidic foods have become a staple in the Western diet and can lead to a myriad of chronic illnesses. One easy way to help neutralize all of the excess acids in our body is to drink ionized alkaline mineral water. Alkaline water can help neutralize the acidity of the body caused by stress, modern diet, air pollution, reverse osmosis water, and many bottled waters. A higher pH in the body reduces the need of cholesterol to protect the body from damaging acids. More importantly, the negative ORP, oxygen reduction potential, of ionized water has proved